Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. I have some really fun coastal winter DIYs for you today using supplies from the Dollar Tree. So the first one, we're going to start with one of these little wood rounds from the Dollar Tree. And I wanted to try to see if I could make coral snowflakes. I know we have made coral a coral reef and a coral Christmas tree. And so I thought we would try snowflakes this time. This is the color I'm going to use. It is Caribbean blue. I just wanted something beachy and blue. And I really almost kind of want to stain this wood round instead of painting it. So I'm just going to put a really thin coat of this acrylic blue all over. And then before it dries, I'm going to try wiping a lot of it off with a baby wipe. That way I can get some of the wood grain to show through. And um, it kind of adds to the coastal beachy look, I always think. Just want it to look a little bit tinted, less painted. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a really pretty wood grain in that wood. And now let's start building a coral snowflake. These are the little tree ornaments from the Dollar Tree. I love these. I always try to stock up on these whenever I see them. Kind of use them year round because I really think they look like coral. Um, and so we are going to make an eight pointed, I guess, snowflake for the first one, which is a lot of points. But you know, each snowflake's a little bit different. So this one's going to be, um, have a lot of different coral pieces sticking out. Now to make it look like coral, I just like to pop off the little trunk and I used to cut these off, but I have found that it's made out of plastic. It's just easier just to pop them off. So I'm going to do that on all eight of them. And that's really the only modification I'm going to do on them. They're white. They have glitter all over them. They're super pretty. And so I'm just going to go ahead and reuse the hanger that came with the wood round. I stocked up on these wood rounds. I got a whole case on DollarTree.com, so I don't have to worry about finding them. I love them. And I'm going to start mapping this out. So north, south, east, west, and then we're going to put one in between each one. And then this one's going to be a full one. We're going to do two different varieties of these today. And they are a little bit more 3D on one side than the other side, the ornament. So you're going to want to make sure that you have them all go the same way. And then to tie it all together for the center of the snowflake, I thought a sand dollar from the Dollar Tree would be perfect. You could use really anything that was circular, but I thought that was just screaming for a sand dollar, right? And so let's start attaching these. Um, I'm going to use the flatter side down. I first attempt to glue it on both ends, but it's kind of um, shaped in a way where it's better just to glue the tip where the little hanger is down. And it kind of like makes it stick out a little bit, which is fine. It actually adds to it, but uh, make sure that your glue gets dry before you let go of it because they kind of want to come off and really this is the only thing securing it down at this point. So I'm going to do that to all eight of them. I'm almost going to the edge, pretty close to the edge with all of these. But I also have it where I want to cover up all those holes in the little coral ornaments um, with the sand dollar. So I want to make sure those are kind of tight in there. Now the sand dollar from the Dollar Tree, they're really cute. They're plastic. They're not real, but they're kind of a grayish tint for some reason. So I'm going to paint this a nice snowy white to kind of coordinate with that coral. Just by doing a couple of thin coats of white acrylic, just making sure if you get any in the little holes that you um, clean up any drips in there. I almost wanted it to be like white sparkly um, glitter like the ornaments, but I didn't have any glitter. So I'm going to improvise with some glossy Mod Podge and just make it shiny and white. That'll kind of make it go well. 
just to kind of make it match the coral. And my first idea was to do this without like the wood round behind it. And I'm sure you could do it. I just thought it might be sturdier this way. And then I could do a punch of color behind the snowflake. But I'm curious if any of you guys make this without the wood round behind it, you just connect the ornaments to the sand dollar. Oh, please post it in my Facebook group. I would love to see it. And even if you make these, I want to see them in my Facebook group. Please show me. I love to see your all's different takes on my DIYs. Now, my first attempt is just to put a little glue on each one of the hangers. But the, that did not really line up very well with the sand dollar. Um, it really wasn't glued on there. So I'm going to do hot glue all around the edges of it where it kind of sits down more. And then sit that on there and that worked. <laughs> and there it is. We have a little snowflake made out of coral. I think it's so fun. I thought the hanger was a little boring and it needed something. So I'm going to use some of this um, ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I think it kind of looks like fishing net. And I'm just going to take a little piece of it that I had left over from another DIY and just tie that onto the hanger with some twine. And that's it, basically. I'm going to cut off the excess twine and just have that kind of hang down on each side of the hanger. I thought it just added a little something, a little something coastal and nautical to our little snowflake. And I love how this one turned out. I was thinking if you did a whole bunch of these, you could have them like snowflakes falling down your wall. It'd be really cute. But this is how it looks on the side of my cabinet in my kitchen. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so let's try a different variety. I thought I really love that one, but I wanted to try like a different size, different shape ornament um, with different colors to see what, see if we like this one better. So again, I'm using one of those wood rounds from the Dollar Tree and we're just going to pop the hanger off. For this one, I wanted to stain it. Um, I'm going to use Antique Wax by Waverly, but I don't want it to be too dark. I kind of want it to look more like driftwood. So I'm going to mix like Antique Wax by Waverly with some water to kind of give myself a more thin stain. And i um, going to go all over the wood round with that with just a thin coat of that. Just kind of working quickly because I don't want it to dry. Once I get it all on there, I'm going to wipe off all of the excess anti wax by Waverly with a baby wipe and hopefully we'll have a very light stain here. Now this did make the board really wet because I watered it down, of course. Um, so I did have to dry this for a little bit, but look at that beautiful wood grain and that Dollar Tree sign. Sweet. I love it. And you could distress it a little bit more if you wanted it to look a little bit more coastal beachy driftwood. But I kind of wanted to see what the snowflake would look like on like a wood background. So again, we're just going to reattach the hanger that came with the wood round. I love these. They're so ready to work with. And then for this one, we're going to use the same ornaments, the little tree ornaments. But this time we're going to do a six sided a snowflake to see how that looks. Again, I'm just popping off the little trunks on all six ornaments and we can start lining this one up. I got the idea to do the different ornament, the different like six and eight because like the MDF snowflakes from the Dollar Tree that I have are different. There's like a six one, there's like an eight one. So this one's not quite as busy. It's a different shape, but I like it. I think it's going to look cool. So just kind of figuring out where everything needs to be on here. And then we can put this little snowflake together as well. Again, the little sand dollar from the Dollar Tree, a little bit gray. So we're just going to paint that one again. I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did on the first one. I'm going to do a couple coats of white acrylic. And then we're going to finish it off with some glossy Mod Podge to make it sparkle. Hey guys, I would love to thank you guys for being here today and watching this video. I appreciate y'all so much. And don't forget to hit that like button. And when you're done watching, comment your favorite DIY below. I did not number them today, but I'm sure you can remember what your favorites are. I would love to hear it. Or you can just come say hi. I love reading all your all's comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. We are trying to get to 11,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I think we can do it. So again, I just glued all of those little 
ornaments down in the middle using the hanger part and then gluing all around the edges of the sand dollar we are going to glue that one down as well and i can't decide which one i like better which one do you guys like better the eight sided on the blue or the six sided on the wood i think they're both beautiful in their own way i can't really decide um, in the hanger again, I think it's kind of boring. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the first one. I'm just going to take some of that ribbon from the Dollar Tree that kind of looks like fishnet. And we're just going to simply tie that to the top with some twine. I have these hanging together right now on the side of my cabinet. But I think that I will uh, move them around. Um, kind of see where I want. I don't really want this one to be on my walls because my walls are brown. I think it'll kind of blend in. Oh, maybe that would be cool though. But this is how this one turned out. Our little wood coral snowflake. I love the idea of the coral snowflake. I think it's so fun. Hey guys, um, did you know I have a second YouTube channel now? It's called Crafty Little Beach and it's all of my DIYs in either one minute or three minutes. So I'd appreciate it if you could follow me over there and I'm trying to get monetized over there. So if you could watch my clips over there, which are the like the longer three minute ones, I would appreciate you. Okay, next DIY. I wanted to make some fun little stocking hats is what I call them. I think a lot of people call them beanies, um, little winter hats, but I wanted to do it with like a coastal feel. So using one of these wood ovals that I got at the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree, I am just going to measure half and what I'm going to do is just cut it in half with my saw. That way I have two of them and I think they kind of look like a, you know, a beanie shape. So we're going to make a couple of little stocking hats. Now these are the little microfiber washcloths from the Dollar Tree. They're this beautiful like minty green blue color. I think that's really coastal and beachy looking and they're nice and fuzzy. They're that microfiber. I thought we could cover one of these with that to be the stocking hat material. And they fit, like this little shape fits nicely, like in just one quarter. I'm just going to use a chalk marker um, to kind of draw that on there so I'll know where to cut. And I kind of want to cut it a little bit bigger than it so that I can wrap the sides around. Um, it's not a very thick piece, but there are a little bit of sides on that little wood block. So I just cut that out. I kind of want to do the fuzzy side up on this one to make it look super cozy. And I'm going to go ahead and cut off the bottom as well. And I do plan to do like a little, um, the brim of the hat. Um, is that what it's called with stocking hats? I'm not sure. But I'm going to go through and do Mod Podge, just regular matte Mod Podge. I do two layers because I want it to be nice and thick so it'll stick to this material. I did not want to use hot glue because I didn't want the hot glue to soak through the fabric and be visible in the final project. So I got, got it glued to the front and now I'm just going to glue it around to the sides. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but like from the sides and the top, I want it to kind of look like it is covered with that fabric as well. I saw so many cute ideas for these, but I thought we could do our own spin on these and try to make a coastal version. So that's why I'm using these coastal colors. Now this is a bath mat from the Dollar Tree, but I thought this like tan shaggy material might be good for a hat. And so I am just going to kind of measure out a little strip of it for the brim of the little stocking hat like that. And I just have to cut out a little strip. So I'm not going to measure. I'm just kind of eyeballing it about how big of a strip I would want. And just cutting that out. It does shed a little bit when you cut it. So just get any of the loose pieces off. And I'm going to kind of do the seam on the bottom where you won't be able to see it. because I want it to look shaggy and cut that down to size. Now this is nice and thick. I think I can glue this on with hot glue without any of that glue coming through and be vis visible on the final project. So I glue that down. I glue the bottom to the bottom of the stocking hat. And then I'm going to glue the sides, just trimming them up a little bit. 
and that one was already glued down so we are good to go on that now I wanted to decorate it with something coastal so I thought I would use these are those little um, craft board cutouts from the crafter square at the Dollar Tree and I picked out some ocean ones here um, I think I'm gonna do a sea turtle on this one these are not made out of wood they're made out of like it's kind of like a cardboard material and I think that's going to be really cute on there with one of these little pom-poms for the top. So I kind of want to go with a blue and white theme. So I'm just using a makeup sponge and carefully painting that little sea turtle white. They are not really, you know, made out of wood. So you kind of have to be careful when you're painting them. They are delicate and I don't want this to fall apart. So I got that painted white. And the little pom-pom, um, I'm going to put that on the top. And that's just something I had left over from the Target Dollar Spot. You could always make your own out of yarn. I actually got some pom-pom makers at the Dollar Tree the other day. I need to try them out. I'm just going to cut the yarn hanger that was off on there. And then we can start putting this little guy together. So the first thing I'm going to do is just hot glue the little sea turtle just kind of over here on the left. I thought that would be a cute little touch. And then I want it to stand up. So I'm going to use two of those little Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree. And just glue those together and then glue that to the back. This would be really cute on your shelf, on a tear tray. So many uses for these. And then I'm going to glue the pom-pom to the top with just some hot glue. And then sticking that down on there. I think this looks so cozy and cute. I love the subtle coastal vibes with the sea turtle and the beachy colors. I think it's so pretty. And this is how it turned out. You can see that microfiber material looks nice and fuzzy. And so does the bath mat material. I think it's really fun. Okay, so we have the second half. So let's try to make another one. This one I thought we could use some of this white nautical rope from the Dollar Tree and um, wrap it around like a rope one but I want like a thin rope so what I'm gonna do is separate this into thirds we end up using um, like one and a half of the three pieces once I get it unwound and this is like the six foot rope I think I'm gonna start at the top with just a little dot of hot glue and put one of those strands of rope on there it's a little curly, um, but it's okay. We're going to wind it around. It's going to kind of straighten it out a little bit. So hot glue just on the first round to get it started. And then the first row, and then just, we're going to just wrap this around. I'm just trying to kind of push and wrap it as tightly as I can. To kind of give like a, wrap, a rope wrapped look there. <laughs> Unfortunately, my rope was not long enough. And so I'm going to glue that to the back and then I'm just going to have to start a new one. And that's going to be on the back. So it won't be real visible anyway. And I'm just going to work around a little bit more. I'm not going to go all the way down though. I'm going to go to right about there and then hot glue that to the back after trimming it. Now, again, we're going to use some more of those microfiber washcloths. This time, I thought I would use it for the brim of the hat. That way, both the hats are going to coordinate together really well. I can display them um, together, and they're going to look nice together. But I'm going to cut out a bigger piece than I need because this is a lot thinner than the bath mat. So I thought we could, like, quadruple it up maybe. So I'm just cutting, uh, like, a little rectangular size, cutting the seams off both sides, I'm going to leave the seam on one side. That's fine. And then I'm just going to fold it, fold it, fold it until I get a nice a thick piece of fuzzy microfiber for the hat. And then I'm going to hot glue it together. I've got so many layers, you're not going to be able to see that through it. And then I'm going to hot glue that on to our little rope hat. I can't decide which one I like on these either. I love them both. They're so cute. I think they're really cute together. And then I'm just going to glue the sides to themselves and then to the hat. And again, I thought we use one of these little sea creature craft board. This time I'm going to use the little um, seahorse one. I think he's so cute. 
Now be careful before you glue them on. Sometimes you have to pop out some of the pieces that are still in there. I'm gonna kinda hot glue him over to the side. Not gonna paint him, I'm gonna leave him that nice brown color. I think it's gonna be a cute contrast to the hat. And then again, I'm gonna use two of the Jenga blocks. This one I'm gonna have to attach a little bit differently. Um, to the back, I'm just gonna glue them kind of end to end. And then glue that on to the wood on the back of the beanie. I kind of like calling them a beanie, but we usually call them stocking hats in our house. My son just actually had to buy one when we were going to West Virginia because we had nothing. We were going to be frozen. <laughs> so again, I have another one of those pom-poms um, from the Target Dollar Spot, and we're going to hot glue that to the top of our little stocking hat. I think these look so coastal and fun. I love the little be beachy touches as well. The little sea creatures are so cute. Isn't it adorable? And I really like how the rope turned out. I think it looks really nice for a coastal touch. And it kind of looks like, you know, like a sweater material. And this is the final result. Our little seahorse beanie. So we've got made two snowflakes out of coral. We've made two beanies, but we've got lots more coming up. And don't forget, I have a private Facebook group. I always have it linked in my video descriptions. We would love to have you. And I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest at Crafty Beach on YouTube. And I do a lot of my shorts over there, like my one minute content. Okay, our next DIY, I thought we'd use some of these adorable little wood ice skates from the Dollar Tree. You get two together and um, just make a cute little winter sign. I'm gonna use one of those little galvanized metal signs from the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. It's kind of like the slatted design, and I thought we could do something cute with this. Something that's gonna coordinate with the little stocking hats that we just made. So I don't really have to do anything to that metal background. It is good and ready to go, but I thought we could like kind of layer up the little ice skates kind of like that. They have the design where they're kind of like um, on opposite sides, but that's okay. We're going to do our own thing on these anyway. So I'm just going to use heat and a putty knife and just pop off that snowflake on there because it's kind of in my way on this one. The other one I'm not going to worry about. I'm just going to leave it there. I thought about drilling holes in there to do laces, but I decided that might be a little much. Again, we're going to use one of those microfiber washcloths from the Dollar Tree. It's going to make this tie in well with the other two DIYs we just used with this. And we're going to cover the skate material with that. Now for the blades and the bottom of the skates, I kind of just wanted them to be stained. I thought about doing silver, but I kind of liked the rusty feel of the brown. So we're just going to use some Antique Wax by Waverly and then wipe off the excess with a baby wipe. It's going to give us that nice light stain. I think it's going to go well with the different colors that we're using on these DIYs. So my plan is just to cover the skates with this material. So I am just going to use an ink pen. I couldn't find my chalk marker. I don't know what I just did with it. And I'm just gonna kinda draw on where the boot would be. Just enough where I can cut that out. Now I'm gonna double that up so I can go ahead and cut both at the same time. Now doing it this way by folding it, you're gonna get two different textures. One's gonna be the back of the washcloth and one's gonna be the front. So one's gonna be fuzzy and one's gonna be not. If you want both of yours to be the same, then don't fold them <laughs> like I did. I didn't really realize I was doing that, but I kinda liked the final effect, so I went ahead and went with it. So this one is like the fuzzy one. And then the one that's going to be on the inside is not so fuzzy. That's when I realized, girl, what did you do? <laughs> but we're going to make it work. So I did a pretty good job of cutting it out. It fits on there pretty good. I'm just going to trim it up a little bit and then trim off the top. Now I'm going to attach it with Mod Podge. Just doing a nice thick layer of Mod Podge over the skate part. And gluing that on, it's pretty forgiving. You kind of stretch it out if you cut it a little bit too short. And then I'm going to trim it to uh, right underneath the little cuff. 
on the top of the ice skate. Now we're going to do the same thing on this one, except this one's going to look nice and fuzzy. I thought about redoing that, making them both fuzzy, but it's always fun to have a little bit of variety in textures when you're working with a DIY, I think. So I just glued that one down as well. I'm using Mod Podge instead of hot glue again because I don't want any of the glue to come through and damage that microfiber. It works well for fabrics. Now for the top, I thought we could use that bath mat again from the Dollar Tree. We're getting lots of use out of this today to make um, little fuzzies for the top of the ice skate. So I just cut out a little piece. And then I'm going to cut out two little strips, one for each ice skate. That's going to help it coordinate well with the stocking hats as well because it has the same kind of material and the same colors. I'm going to go ahead and cover up the, the holes on the top because I'm not going to hang them. Um, I'm just going to glue them on. So I'm just going to attach that with hot glue, nice and thick material. I can definitely do that. Again, you're going to get a little bit of um, shedding on those from cutting them. Now, I wanted to give them a coastal touch as well. So again, I'm going to use one of those craft board sea creatures. This time, I thought maybe like a jumping dolphin would be cute. And it kind of looks cute in the brown, but I kind of wanted to keep with the blue and the white theme that I was doing for the little stocking hats and the ice skates. And I'm going to go ahead and paint it white with a makeup sponge. Again, being very careful that I don't get it too wet because I don't want that cardboard to fall apart. These are more fragile than I remember them being. And I'm only going to do one. I'm only going to do one for the little skate that's on top. Like it's kind of on the outside of the skate. And I'm just going to attach that with a little bit of hot glue. Super cute. I've had this for a while. I don't know why I haven't been using them very much. Okay, so now we can start putting this together. I'm going to attach it to the little galvanized metal sign with hot glue along the top of the skate. So I'm going to put glue just there on that top part and glue that to like one of the parts of the metal that's sticking up there so it'll catch it. And then we're going to kind of stagger the second one on top a little bit. Again, just gluing this top part. I tried gluing them to each other there at the bottom. Didn't really work too much because um, they have different sizes. So I'm going to add more hot glue here to the top to make sure this stays on. I love it. I think it's looking super cute. Again, I'm going to use some of that ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is the one that kind of looks like fishnet. And I just had some extra pieces of that. I'm just going to tie that around the top. To kind of give the appearance of a little fishnet hanging down. Had a little bit of free space over here and I thought this would make a cute little bow. And then I thought seashells. So I'm going to use some of these little tiny seashells that you get in the little clear glass bottles from the Dollar Tree. And we are just going to glue some on here to give some more coastal beachy touches to this DIY. I think this turned out really sweet and cute and it looks so good with the little stocking hats. So I'm just picking out different styles of seashells, kind of in the same color scheme and gluing them on there. Now I didn't do laces, so I'm going to use some of this baker's twine or this twine from the hardware section at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to do a bow. I thought about doing laces, but at this point I thought it was going to be too much trouble. So I'm just going to do a bow for the top of one of the skates, just the one that's on top. Just add a little fun, and I just glued that to the top where the laces would be laced up. And this is how it turned out. I think it's super cute. I love the fuzzy fabrics and all the different textures and materials. And then I think it's really cute for winter. And again, the, all of these winter DIYs, you can leave up all winter. They are not just specific for Christmas. Okay, it's our last DIY. This one I thought, let it snow. We can remake this. I'm going to use some of these me new galvanized metal snowmen stakes. I just found those at the Dollar Tree the other day. They got them in kind of late, I think. And I think we can make this 
a Julie approved project, no, let it snow. This isn't going to work. So I am just going to use different shades of blue and I am just painting over that. No rhyme, no reason. I probably should have texturized it a little bit with something to cover up the glitter from the scarf and the hat because I was having trouble covering that. I just kept doing different layers of blue just to kind of make it look like the ocean and the sky. Really no rhyme or reason. I was just trying to cover all of that up that was on there before. Kind of do a little bit of a horizon line if we can. Um, and again, you can still kind of see the texture of the glitter, but once we decorate it, I think it's going to be okay. Now for the bottom part, we don't want snow, no way. So we're going to do sand. <laughs> so I'm going to do a nice a thick layer of school glue, kind of in a wavy pattern here at the bottom. And then some of this white sand from the Dollar Tree. It's nice and got a little bit of sparkle in there too. And we're going to replace the snow with sand. This is going to be a coastal beach approved snow globe. <laughs> but I, I did like the shape. That's why I started with the sign. Now to get the sand to stick, I'm going to use some of the spray adhesive from the Dollar Tree and glue that down and then some of the sand that fell off i'm going to do a second layer of sand so that you can't see through it and again a little bit more of that spray glue to make sure that everything stays put that really works really well for sand projects for me aren't these cute they had um lots of different ones too and i got some new like galvanized metal christmas trees and different stuff like that they just got them in at my one of my big dollar trees i've never seen them before now the stake on the back was really on there it wasn't like easy to pop off like with your hand like some of them that i've seen so i'm just going to use some pliers and kind of work that back and forth until i have two little galvanized metal snowmen i thought these would be really cute to decorate and replacing that big one that was in there with maybe two smaller ones that's going to go i think the galvanized metal goes well with the coastal vibe and it's going to kind of coordinate with that last diy that we just did where we did the galvanized metal sign and i'm just going to attach both of those to our snow globe sign with lots of hot glue Anytime you glue to the sand, you have to use a little bit more hot glue, but I'm only gluing the bottom parts of those to the sand. Then I thought we should have some sea creatures out there. So I'm going to use some of these little shore living dolphins from the Dollar Tree that they had um, this summer. And I'm going to take two of the little dolphins jumping and just painting those white again with a makeup sponge. You could always use the little dolphins from the crafter square, the little craft board ones that we've been using as well if you don't have any of these. But I thought a few dolphins jumping out of the water from behind the snowmen would be really cute. So I'm just going to attach both of those with a little dot of hot glue. Now to border out the frame, I thought some of this white nautical rope from the Dollar Tree would be really cute just for the border around the snow globe. So I'm just going to use it as is, and we're going to start gluing that on there. I'm going to go ahead and put some twine back on there for a hanger while I can, um, because this is probably going to glue that over there. I kind of tied it too long, so I'm going to tie it a little bit shorter. But this could all be, it would be a really cute standing project as well if you don't want to hang it. And I'm going to start right here at the bottom and I'm going to start hot gluing that rope frame all around our snow globe. I think this really ties it in and it makes the project look a lot more thick than the thin Dollar Tree sign. I always hate how thin the signs are. I always want my DIYs to be a little bit more substantial. I'm going to cut it off when I get to the bottom here and glue that down. Now, the only problem is it says, let it snow. So <laughs> we're going to replace that with some of this craft wood from the Dollar Tree. It's about 18 inches long. So we're going to cut it in half. We're going to have two nine each pieces of this rather thick craft wood from the Dollar Tree. And it's going to be a nice thickness. It's going to be a, the same thickness as the rope. It's going to make this look really nice. So we're gonna kind of pair those up side by side there at the bottom. The only problem is they're a little bit too um, skinny. 
So I'm going to cut off the little sides where it kind of flares out on that let it flow, let it snow sign. I tried with scissors, but it was a little too thick. So I'm just using a cutting blade from the hardware section at the Dollar Tree and a Dollar Tree cutting mat. And we're just going to cut that down. Doesn't have to be perfect. You're not going to be able to see it. And now we can attach these little wood pieces to the bottom to create a new sign for our little coastal beachy snow globe. Just gonna glue that down to the let it snow with hot glue. I use the Gorilla Glue hot glue. I know some of you guys were asking. I get it at Amazon or Walmart. It's in my Amazon shop. I really love it. It works great for wood projects. Now I want it to look kind of coastal and distressed. And so I'm going to use some ivory acrylic and a chunky brush from the Dollar Tree and just working in one direction. We are going to distress this wood, make it look nice and coastal. I want some of the raw wood to show through, but I also want a nice ivory background for our sign, kind of distressing on the sides and the bottom as well. Now I want to spell out a new word. I don't want no snow. So I'm going to use some of these galvanized metal letters from the Dollar Tree. You have to be careful when you buy these. You only get half the alphabet, as you can see. Um, like this one is N through Z. And you get one of each letter. I thought we could put like a fun saying. I'm going to do a snow-free zone. I thought that would be funny. Just trying to find enough E's. And luckily, I had enough. Now... These are kind of small, these letters, and so my regular hot glue gun gives a little bit too much hot glue. So I heated up my fine detail hot glue gun, um, and I am just going to glue those all on. Trying to not get any hot glue anywhere it shouldn't be, but it's inevitable. <laughs> and we're going to do snow free up here on the top board, and then zone here on the bottom. I think that ties in really nicely with the galvanized metal snowmen and it completes this little snow free zone snow globe. I think it's a fun take on a snow globe sign. And again, this would be a really pretty um, sign standing up. I haven't decided which way I'm going to use it. And then I thought, oh my gosh, I didn't put any sand shells or seashells on there. So I'm going to use one of these little tiny starfish that I get on Amazon. They're always listed in my Amazon shop below going to glue that on with some hot glue. And again, when you're gluing to the sand, you got to use a lot of hot glue because um, you kind of have to get down all the way to the sign. If you glue it just to the sand itself, um, it's going to fall right off. So you kind of have to put lots of hot glue on there and then push it really hard down into the sand. I'm just going to do three. I think that's plenty. And there is our final project. And this is how it turned out. Our little snow-free zone snow globe. I think it's really fun. What do you think? Hey guys, I wanted to give a huge thank you to the following Crafty Beach Bums for sending me super thanks, super chats, buying me a coffee, sending me money on the Cash App. You guys are the best and I really appreciate your support being a small channel on YouTube does not pay very well, so and I appreciate any and all support. You guys are the best, but if you can't afford it, don't worry. If you like, comment, share, subscribe, all of those things help my channel to grow. Thank you so much for watching today, and now it's time for the final reveal. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. To the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach Without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling from
just coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Alright guys, you made it to the end of the video if you'd like more Crafty Beach. YouTube thinks you might enjoy this video right here. See you later.